Hi, welcome to the Career Refresh Podcast. I'm your host, Jill Griffin. I'm a former media and marketing executive turned career strategist and executive coach. I spent my career working my way up and through the ranks of global organizations and startups, and today I show others how to do the same. Join me each week as we discuss the strategies and actionable steps to leverage your strengths, increase your confidence, and develop your career well-being. Ready? Let's do it. Hey, this is The Career Refresh, and I am your host, Jill Griffin. Okay, people, (laughs) we're going to talk about copycats and what to do when someone steals your idea or is copying you. Okay, so last week you shared an idea in a meeting. It was like good energy. People were building on it. And suddenly this week that colleague of yours has shared the idea as if it's their own with no credit, no attribution, no track back, just owning it. So what do you do? Well, maybe you do nothing or maybe you do something. It really depends on the scope and size of the situation. And just so we're clear, this podcast is not legal advice. This is strategy, my friends. (laughs) So first, you're going to manage your emotions. You're going to feel the feelings. You're going to feel the suck. You're going to process the rage, the anger, the unfairness, all those emotions that are going to come up. And if you need to, seek help from a therapist, a mentor, or a coach. And I'm going to tell you, this happened to me recently. I felt betrayal. I felt rage because it wasn't anonymous. I know and helped a woman with some things on her business, and then she went on and stole my content, my copy, almost all the copy off my website, my LinkedIn posts, and put everything down as hers. (laughs) Charming, right? So after I got really annoyed, then I just thought, all right, bitch, you can take it. And I was pissed because then I realized that she can steal my yesterday, but I'm going to be creating my tomorrow so she can eat my dust. (laughs) They can try to keep up. And I'm also going to have to get used to it. And as are you, because as you're creating and putting good into the world and coming up with great ideas and your clients are satisfied and they want more of it, more and more people are going to copy you and steal your ideas. So like I said, they can steal my yesterday, but I'm going to be creating my tomorrow. And also just remember that like, if they steal your stuff, they can't execute it the way you would be because they're not you. They don't have your brain, your experience, your expertise. You can probably still move forward with the idea. That's that Einstein quote that ideas are 1%, but perspiration or execution is 99. There are lots of similar ideas, but there's different executions. So the next is like, you may have to have an awkward conversation. So if your coworker skills steals your idea, You can deal with it either by directly asking them how they got that recommend information and how they got to that recommendation or that solution. And if it's really blatant, you can say to them, you know, how do we ensure that we receive proper attribution, credit, participation, collaboration as this project proceeds? So you're calling them on it. If you are a freelancer, this may be a little harder because depending on your contract, your work may not technically be yours. Often it's like a buyout, right? Where the person who is paying for the work now owns the work. And while it's still going to feel sucky, it may not be your fight anymore. So check those contracts or have a lawyer draft your freelance contracts for you or the amendment language that you want to put in if you sign someone else's contract. Um, you can also bring it to the company that hired you and maybe there's a way that you can still get it watermarked or have credit so that it's not totally feels like it's being taken away from you. Um, either way, you got to approach the topic with civility, right? I know you want to put them on blast. Trust me. I wanted to put that woman on blast too, but it, it's like, you can ask them to take it down. You can ask them for credit. You can ask them for attribution, but I'm going to tell you to stay as neutral as possible. Most people are not going to respond to anger when you call them out and say, Hey, can we, you know, find a way to collaborate and put 
attribution or credit here, they're going to probably get really defensive. And your best strategy is to stay as neutral as possible, right? It's hard. I'm not saying it's easy, but practice maybe with a friend or think about the things that the person might say to you and practice how you would calmly answer them. And then again, only you know if this is a colleague or if this is someone external, only you know if this is something that needs to get brought to management or if you need to seek legal counsel. And then I want to also just like put it out there that don't mistake competition for a copycat. What's the difference? Well, someone that is copying you is following you. Sometimes your competition is going to outsmart and outwit you. The competition can fuel you to think faster, act smarter, be intelligent, to challenge your ideas, to be able to think on your feet. It makes you, competition makes you smarter, fiercer, and ultimately more successful. Competition good, copycat bad. (laughs) Don't mistake the two. And then there's a Picasso quote, quote that is around like good artists steal or good artists copy, great artists steal or something like that. And what he really means here is that great artists selectively takes, right, steals, but takes from multiple sources and then they creatively combine and their influences, they bring them all together to create something that's uniquely your own. Austin Cleone, and I believe I'm saying that correctly, um, he writes a book that's called Steal Like an Artist. It's a great book. And it's all about be inspired by others, weave their ideas into your own experience or snowball them, right? But blend and knead and mix. I should not be able to see their idea purely sitting in your idea. It can be influenced, but it shouldn't be stolen. And use all all of that, others' works and your own, your own experiences and everything. Use it for your fuel for what's next. Keep your integrity intact. Do not copy. Do not plagiarize. And thanks for coming to my TED Talk. (laughs) All right, friends, have a great week. As always, I love to hear from you. Email me at hello at jillgriffincoaching.com. Let me know, has anyone copied or plagiarized off of your work? How did you handle it? I'd love to hear it. Have a wonderful week, and as always, here's to possibility. Hey, thanks for listening to the Career Refresh Podcast. If you're enjoying this and you want more information, go to my website, jillgriffincoaching.com. There you can find information on how to work with me one-on-one or my group programs, or even bring me into your workplace. I'll put the link to my website in the show notes. But hey, listen, before you go, do me a favor, rate and review this podcast because it definitely helps me get the word out to people everywhere so that they can also thrive in the workplace. All right, friends, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.